Hi everyone. Now we'll talk about computed signal in Angular. So uh, first of all, I let you know what are the computed signals. Then we'll see two examples about computed signal. And after that, we'll see why computed signals are important. There are something which cannot be done with the variables and properties, but that can be done only with the help of computed signals. I will talk about this also. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions regarding computed signals in Angular. All right. So let's move on first question. What are the computed signals? See, we know that in Angular, we have two types of signal. First one is a writable signal. Here you can change its value directly. Uh, you can use a set function, update function uh, to update uh, the writable signal values. But in case of computed signals, they are read only. Uh, maybe you can say that they are a little bit similar to the uh, constants. Once they define after that, you cannot change their value, right? But still, there is a way if you want to change the computed signal values. Uh, what is that way? So let's say a uh, computed signal value is depend on some other signals. And if you change the value of the other signals, then computed signal value will also get changed. All right. Uh, maybe you get it. Maybe you don't get it. Don't worry. When you will see the example, then will definitely this thing will be uh, understandable. Okay. So now let's go to the code and see uh, what happened if we try to update the computed signal value. So what I'm going to do first, I'll define a computed signal. So let's say uh, I'm just taking a data. This, this is the name of computed signal and I will put there computed and inside this we have to take, uh, you can see that uh, arrow function and let's say its value is 20, right? So if I want to display its value, uh, you can use h1 or any HTML element. And if you just put their data, this, you can see that this value is displayed there. This is completely working fine. There is no issue at all. Okay. So now let's say you have button there, right? And button is update value or something, right? And there I will use their click event. And inside this, if I just make a function update value like this and then on the update value uh, let me declare this function in the ts file and if i just try to update uh, this dot data dot set you'll see we are getting a, a error there which is set cannot be exist in the signal number right uh, and if i just try to update their value like this, again, you will get an error, right? But in case of, let's say, uh, we have count and this is the normal signal, right? Writable signal and its value is 20. Then if I try to update this, uh, it will perfectly work fine. There's no error with the update. If I just use their set, there is a no error, right? So here you can see that normal signals can be easily update or you can see that a writable signal can easily update but if you try to update the uh, computed or uh, read only signals they cannot be updated directly right they cannot be updated directly but indirectly they can be updated how you'll get to know okay so this is the one thing uh, that's why they, you'll understand that they are read only second thing so let me show you one scenario there you need the computed signals okay so let's say you have, uh, let me remove this one, this one also, otherwise it will give error. So we have three variables, which is x, its value is 20, then y, its value is again 30, then z, and its value is this dot x plus this dot y, right? And now here, if I try to log this value, this dot z, you will see we are getting this value 50. This is perfectly fine. There is no issue. But let's say there, uh, if I update its value, uh, not there, let's try to update there, right? Uh, this dot x is 100, right? Now, again, after that, if I try to update the z value, then what should be the, uh, its value? Let me try with x only, right? then again, it's value 50 only because we already assigned the addition of X and Y there in the Z. And then after some time we are updating the X there. So this value will not impact the Z. X, this updated value 
will not up, uh, impact on the Z. So if I just click over there, you will see in the both cases we are getting 50, no issue. But what actually we want, we want if X or Y, any value is updated, then we should be get updated value inside the Z. Then how we can do that? That can be done with the help of computed signals. So you understand uh, that point, right? So now I'm changing its uh, normal properties to the signal. So this is the one signal and its value is, uh, we know that 20. And similarly, we have the Y also with value 30. And there, uh, what I'll do, I will just use a computed signal, computed and inside this, what I'll do, this dot X plus this dot Y, like this, right? And in the Z, uh, okay, so we cannot update, okay, let me just print the first one value only. And now you'll find, uh, okay, so we have to use it like a function, right? Now you can see that we are getting 50. This is perfectly fine. There is no issue. So now if I update the value of X and that for that we have to use this set. Now if you will try to print the value of Z, then you will get uh, 130 there because 20 is this and Y uh, 30 is there and 20 is replaced with the 100. So in first one, you will get uh, 50 this one and this and there the x value is updated uh, that's why you will get there 130 let me show you here you can see that all right so if you want to update the value of a computed signal then you have to use the signals inside this and if the uh, the in uh, used signal inside the computed signal are changed then uh, the computed signal value will also get change all right Okay, so let's say you want to display its value there. So let me use H1 and now I'll use there Z like this. And now okay, I just, I guess I just missed something there. Mm, okay, I have to use double curly braces, I guess, yeah. Right, here you can see that its value is changed with the 130, perfect. Okay, so we have one more uh, scenario. So if you change the value of X or Y on the button click, then what will happen? Again, uh, the computer signal value will be changed there also. Let me show you. So I have a button there, update X value, right? Update X value like this. And uh, if I just define this function and inside this, if I just change there, this dot X dot set and its value is 1000, let's say, right? Then if I just click over there, here you can see that we are getting 130. So if I just click on the X, then what will be happen? Then X value is 1000 and Y value is 30. So the answer will be 130 there, uh, 1030 there, right? Uh, even we are not updating the X because uh, we are not updating the Z because Z will be automatically update when X or Y will value will be updated. Here we go, right? So this is how we can change the computed signal value. Uh, I hope you get my point why these signals are important. Interview question. They can ask, uh, computed signals are read only or writable? In, in that scenario, you can say that they are read only, but if you'll change the dependencies value, then uh, computed signal value will also be get updated here, right? Thank you so much for watching this part. If you still have any doubt, confusion, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm number and GPay for donation. And please like this video, subscribe my channel and comment your feedback here. Thanks guys.